This presentation is brought to you by the Beljalski Foundation. Over 50 years of research towards curing cancer the natural way. All right, so we're going to start off with a little brain exercise right now, okay? So everyone's going to try this in your seat. Just don't kick your neighbor. You're going to do a uh, clockwise circle with your left leg, and then you're going to draw the number six with your left hand. So clockwise with the left leg, and the number six with the left hand. Can anyone do it? It's tough, right? You can sit down, it's fine. I'm well balanced, so I can do it standing. Most people would have a difficult time. So this is a brain exercise. Everyone's going to do this at home. This will help prevent Alzheimer's disease because you're challenging your brain. The brain loves learning new things. So I'm sure no one's ever tried this before at home, right? So you're going to try this. This is going to be your homework. You just do it for 30 seconds, three times a day. So everyone better take notes because I'm going to teach you exactly how to prevent Alzheimer's in 20 minutes. So we got we to gotta talk quick here. All right. So that's your first homework clockwise circles with the leg and then draw the number six with the hand and if you don't get it you just keep trying now the reason I'm so passionate about Alzheimer's is because I saw my grandmother slowly die from Alzheimer's and I thought I'm not gonna let this happen to anybody else so after she died I made it my passion to help prevent people from dying from Alzheimer's because I didn't know that's what was happening at the time I figured it out after the key to prevention of Alzheimer's is prevention it's not about waiting till you get problems it's about fixing it before it comes does anyone know anyone with Alzheimer's yeah so what we want to do is make sure we teach them the right things to not only prevent it but if they are already starting to have signs and symptoms to actually reverse it so it can be done through a process called neuroplasticity it used to be thought that once brain cells died, that that's it, that there's nothing what we could do. But now we know through neuroscience that we could actually create new connections between different areas of the brain to help it function better, and then you feel better, perform better, and you don't have memory issues, you don't have balance problems. So the number one cause of Alzheimer's is diabetes. That's the number one cause of Alzheimer's. Now, how do we check diabetes? We look at the blood work. We look at hemoglobin A1C. We want to make sure that's under 5.7. We look at the fasting glucose. We want to make sure that's under 100. So we want to look at blood work and see, am I prone to diabetes? And if you're prone to diabetes, then guess what? You're more likely to get Alzheimer's. They're actually thinking about changing the name of Alzheimer's to diabetes type 3. So diabetes is the leading cause of Alzheimer's. So with my grandma, what I would have done is made sure she stopped eating sugar, stopped eating so much bread and pasta. I didn't know it at the time. Uh, she loved bagels and croissants and muffins. So we have to get rid of all that stuff to bring your sugar levels down, and that will help prevent Alzheimer's disease. Now another thing that happened with my grandma is she moved to Florida, and she stopped becoming active. So she used to go dancing, she used to play tennis, she would go hiking, and then once she moved to Florida, she lost all her friends, she lost her family members, so she just sat at home watching TV all day. And that was not healthy for her brain. Harvard came out with a study proving that sitting is the worst thing you could do. So everyone stand up, and we're gonna just roll our shoulders back, Just back, because everyone's shoulders are all too forward already. So we're just going to go back. And what you want to do is every 20 minutes, you're going to stand up and roll your shoulders back. It's the 20-minute rule. Every 20 minutes, you get up for 20 seconds, roll your shoulders back 20 seconds, you walk 20 feet, you look 20 feet away, and then you can sit down. The study was proving that sitting kills you quicker than smoking. That Harvard study proved that sitting kills you quicker than smoking. You guys remember that? Sitting kills you quicker than smoking. All right? Now everyone sit down. But in 20 minutes, we'll get back up again. So make sure between all the lectures that you guys see today 
to get up and walk around. Don't just be sitting the whole time. So you gotta get up and move. That's gonna help prevent Alzheimer's disease as well. Okay, so what's the number one cause of Alzheimer's? Diabetes. Diabetes. What's number two? Sitting. Sitting. What's number three? Because you don't move and then your brain doesn't have to work. The brain loves movement. So if you're not moving, the brain can actually shut off. And when you're not using it, you lose it. So you have to use your brain. You have to find different activities every single day. You know, you go for a hike one day, go swimming the next day, go rollerblading the next day, go biking, go yoga, do uh, whatever you need, uh, dancing. Sign, find something that you like, basketball, something that's fun to do, rowing, that you really like, so it's not a chore or an errand, but it's something that you enjoy. Intellectual activity. So in the beginning, the first thing we said is we need to challenge the brain. Did you do the brain exercise? No, I can't really. Okay, so what you're going to do, this is the homework for the brain, is you're going to do clockwise circles with your left leg, and you're going to draw the number six with your left hand. Because we want to do a challenging brain activity, but we want to involve movement as well. What's another good brain movement exercise? So what you'll do, we call this cross-crawl exercise, where you tap your opposite leg, and then you come up with a different category every time you tap. So let's say we'll do fruit. You'll be like apples, pears, banana, pineapple, watermelon. You keep going. If you get more than seven of each category, that's good, but you want to shoot for maybe 13, 14, 15 is a really good functioning brain there. All right. Another thing that could cause Alzheimer's is exposure to chemicals. Okay, that's very important. <coughs> what type of chemicals? Who knows? Toxins. What type of toxic chemicals? Heavy metals. What are the heavy metals? Things you find in your house every day. Like what do you find in our house? Mercury. Where's mercury found? <coughs> Is it found in big fish or little fish? Big fish. So the big fish have mercury in it. So we want to eat little fish, right? Sardines are little fish. What else is little fish? What? Mackerel. What else? Anchovies. Salmon. Those are all good little fish. And you want to buy fish from the Atlantic Ocean. The Pacific Ocean is radiating from the Japan nuclear meltdown. So a lot of the fish actually have radiation that you would be eating and that will affect Alzheimer's disease as well. So get your fish from the Atlantic Ocean, not from the Pacific Ocean. What other heavy metals besides mercury? Lead. lead. What is lead? From leaded gasoline. Leaded gasoline, right? Paint too. So we can be exposed to that. Lead. <coughs> Sorry? Yeah, a lot of mercury, exactly, yep. So mercury, also um, one of the flu shots um, has thimerosal, uh, which is um, a mercury type of chemical as well. Um, so aluminum is another chemical that can aggravate your brain. We get aluminum from aluminum foil, from uh, makeup, from deodorant. Uh, we get it from our cooking pans. So the best cooking pan is what? Stainless steel. That's the best cooking pan. The one from the infomercial? I wouldn't buy anything from infomercials. <laughs> don't buy anything on commercials. It's because if it's really good, they don't have to advertise, you know? Don't buy what's on a commercial? Doritos, Coca Cola, Burger King, Bud Light, Viagra. Never get anything on a commercial. You want to buy stuff that's recommended by an educated physician that can tell you what's exactly appropriate or not. But don't listen to the commercials. Um, all right, so chemical exposure. Aluminum is also sprayed in the air, actually, so we're inhaling it. It's in the water. It's in our foods. So that we can't uh, we can prevent in hairspray. We can't prevent that, but we can prevent making sure we don't pack our food in aluminum foil or cook our food 
in aluminum pans or use the aluminum deodorant. So we can avoid those activities. So those are the things we want to uh, make sure we stay away from. All right, so what other things can cause Alzheimer's disease? Anyone have any other ideas? Plastics, right? So don't drink plastic water bottles. Those are no good. I have a glass water bottle here. So glass or stainless steel is where you want to drink your water from. Not only are we destroying the environment and our oceans and wasting money, uh, we're also hurting our own bodies uh, because you're imbibing the chemicals that get leaked into the water from the plastic bottles. What else that could cause Alzheimer's disease? What? Well, that's a whole nother. So stay away from the microwave, first of all. Don't even have a microwave. Microwave destroys all the food value. If you take water and you microwave the water and you um, give it to a plant, the plant will actually die. The microwave destroys water. It destroys your food. So just use a toaster oven. It takes five minutes, just the same amount of time, and you heat up in an oven. Throw out the microwave. That is not good for your health and your well-being. Just use a toaster oven. Uh, it takes five minutes to, to heat anything up in a toaster oven. Very, very easy. All right, anything else that we, we know? Yes? It's a question. It's a question. Stress, and worry. stress and worry. That's an answer. So stress and worry is going to lead to Alzheimer's. So we have to reduce stress levels. And how do we do stress levels? The most obvious, right? Everyone says meditation, um, breathing exercises. The proper way to breathe is inhale for three seconds and exhale for six. So everyone, let's breathe together. So we're going to inhale for three, in, two, three, and then out, two, three, four, five, six. Again, in, two, three, and then out, two, three, four, five, six. One more. In, two, three, and out, two, three, four, five, six. So that's another homework you guys are going to do. Breathing exercises, meditation. Someone in the background said sleep. Sleep is very important. So you want to sleep ideally from 10 to 6. You want those eight hours in the winter. The most important hours are the hours before midnight. They have research which compares sleeping from midnight to 7, 7 hours sleep, and 10 to 5, 7 hours sleep. The only difference was they went to sleep two hours earlier. They lost weight just by going to bed two hours earlier. They reduced anxiety, stress, memory improved. <coughs> that all just Everything was the same except the sleep. So you got to get at least two hours before midnight. In the winter, the sun goes down early. So it's better to rest early and wake up early. The early bird catches the worm. Okay? Food is also very important for Alzheimer's. So we want to buy organic food. We want to avoid the pesticides and the herbicides. Okay? We don't want to buy meat. Um, that's full of hormones and antibiotics. So you want to be grass-fed. You want organic. You want non-GMO. These are all going to benefit your brain and your body. The four worst foods that you can have are dairy products, wheat products, alcohol, and sugar. Those are the four worst foods. So if you're going to stay away from four foods to prevent Alzheimer's, those are the four most important things. Okay, the only people that should be having dairy products are cows, not people, but cows. Human milk is made for humans, cow's milk is made for cows, sheep milk is made for sheep, goat's milk is made for goat, but uh, human beings love to drink other species milk. We don't want to do that. It's not healthy. We can't absorb the nutrients and end up becoming toxic, create autoimmune problem, and the autoimmune problem can literally attack your brain and that could lead to Alzheimer's as well. Doctor, that was dairy, wheat, alcohol, and what? Sugar. Because okay. remember, the first thing we said is diabetes is the number one cause of Alzheimer's. Wow. Okay? Any other questions? Yes? Why dairy? Uh, dairy, I just explained. 
Dairy is milk and cheese and yogurt and sour cream. It's from a cow. Our bodies do not recognize dairy products. Only cows' bodies recognize cow's milk. So it creates autoimmune problems. Dairy is the worst thing you could put in your body. It's going to cause heart disease. It's going to cause cancer. It's going to cause Alzheimer's. So stay away from all dairy products and all milk products, including yogurt. Don't be uh, scammed by the milk mustaches and the commercials that are telling you that it's good with probiotics. Yes. I'm condemning all plastic. Even if it's BPA. If it's not BPA, it's another chemical. All plastic. BPA is just one of them. There's a lot of other ones that they just replace instead of BPA. I have a table out there. Um, if anyone's interested, what we're offering today is you can come to my table and you can sign up for an evaluation in my office where we look at your blood work, we evaluate your brain, we do a MOCA test to find out if you're going to have Alzheimer's, we check out your heart, we check out your gut, muscles, reflexes, posture, alignment, nerves, arteries, veins. We check out the whole thing. It's normally $270. If you come to my booth right after this, you can sign up completely free with no obligation. I tell you exactly what's wrong and little exercises to help increase input into your brain, help your body function best without medicine, surgery, or any injections.